I'm going to show you the problem that is on the week two assignment in Mastering Physics, and it's the one about the flux through a cube. So I've drawn the cube here. The length of every side is L, and I'm going to put the x, y, z axes like this. And the electric field in the region is given A plus B x i hat plus C j hat. The definition of electric flux is the integral of E dot dA. The dot product is very important. Now remember when you're dotting vectors, the only time that you pick up a term is if you're dotting like components. So the dot product of all like components is 1. The dot product of all unlike components is 0. So let's define the faces of this cube so we can get a feel for what the directions of dA are. So I'll start with the bottom one. We'll call it A1. It's the area of that uh, face is L squared. The direction of A1, which points out of the box, would be negative J hat. The top one, call A2, has also area L squared, but has positive J hat direction. A3 will be towards us here, the front face, and that also has area L squared and points in the K hat direction. The back face we'll call A4 has area L squared, is negative k hat, and then L A5 will be the right hand face, L squared I hat, and A6 will be the left hand face, L squared negative I hat. So let's see which faces are not going to give any contribution to the flux because they involve unlike components when you compare it to the electric field. And we can see that the A3 with the K hat and A4 with negative K hat, when you dot it with E, you're going to get zero. So the flux from, I'll call it face flux 3, is going to be zero, and the flux from 4 is going to be zero. Okay, let's now do uh, the top and bottom faces. So notice that because the top and bottom faces have a J hat in them, you're only going to pick up the J hat component of the electric field, and there is no variable, so you're definitely not going to have to integrate that. So if we do phi 2 E dot A, because this integral just reduces to E dot A if E is constant, and so we're going to have a plus b x i hat plus c j hat square brackets dot the area vector for a2, which is l squared j hat. Now you only pick up the j component of the electric field when you dot, and so you're left with c l squared. And it's just a scalar, not a vector. Okay, next we'll do phi E3, no, we've done 3, we're going to do 2 pointed up, we'll do 1 which points down, so phi E1 is E dot A again, and once again we're just going to pick up the J hat, but notice now it's going to be a negative J hat, so this is going to be, we'll have the C J hat from the electric field, and we'll dot dot that with L squared negative J hat, and so this gives us negative C L squared. So, so far we have no flux from top, bottom, front, back. Where we are going to pick up some flux are, is on this side face. Now, this has an I hat, so A5 has an I hat component. So phi E5 will be A plus B X I hat plus b j hat dot l squared i hat. Now, you still may be wondering whether or not we need to integrate. When you look at this expression, first of all, we're just going to pick up the i hat part of the electric field. You have to decide, is x constant on that face, or is x going to be changing on that face? So when we go up and look at this, 
right hand face, you can see that x is constant. x equals L on the entire face. And so we don't have to integrate, we just simply sub in for x L. So this becomes A plus B L times L squared. So that's A L squared plus B L cubed. Now we do the left hand face, that's supposed to be cubed, and that's phi E six. And on this face, once again, x is constant, but x is zero. So x equals zero here, which means the electric field is just a i hat plus b j hat. And we're dotting that with a six, which is l squared negative i hat. Whoopsie, this is times zero. Oh, right, we got, we, I got the zero for the x. Okay, so now we're going to just pick up negative a l squared. Now when you add them all together, the net flux is 0 plus 0 plus so 0 plus 0 plus c l squared minus c l squared plus a l squared plus b l cubed minus a l squared and all we're left with is the b l cubed and that is the final answer.